Good morning, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful spring. <laughs> he splattered water in my mouth. Check him out. This is a blast what I am doing this morning. I think I can get my thumb in here and show you how big I want you to look at that. That's eating right there. Now, I didn't bring my cooler. I'm just out kind of testing, testing my little lures. I'm gonna come back in a day or two, bring my cooler some ice, and uh, this is what I'm gonna want right here. That is a filleting one. Ain't nothing like brim, bluegill fishing, shell cracker. Some of the best eating you will ever have. Get him back. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. This is my second little bait. I'm talking about a tiny little crankbait. This is one of my favorite baits for pan fishing. I've caught crappie, I've caught bass, uh, bluegill, shellcracker. I've caught the whole, I, just about everything you could think of. Now I've got another little bait. I know I'm getting run up in the trees here. But that's okay. I want to show you something else right quick that I've already got bit on. A little pin, a uh, tiny little jerk bait. I think you can see that. I mean tiny. To throwing it on a, uh, I'm not even sure these little rods make it to five feet. I think they're like 410. And they will handle two, four, depending on the line, six pound test line, four pounds about best on these little rods I'm using today. Uh, these are little Bass Pro Shop, tiny light reels. Uh, rods are, I don't remember where these rods even came from. I've had them for years. And I use them to throw these little baits on. And I've also got a couple of uh, conventional bass rods with my jig, because I got bit a few days ago on a jig, and uh, my drop shot. But this morning, to get started, I'm throwing these little baits around the edge, brim around the edge. I actually, on my first first spot that I fished this morning. I hooked a four pounder on the tiny little jerk bait and I got him all the way up by the boat. Couldn't fight him hard on this light line, these little this little tackle. But he had the he had the lure down past his teeth. So he sawed it off pretty quick once he got up close to the boat and uh, took my bait. So if I have landed some big bass on these little rods and this light line and these tiny lures, but if they ever get that bait sucked all the way in past their teeth, unless you've got a stronger leader, you're probably not gonna land them. Uh, kind of luck with the draw, where they bite it uh, and where that, where that little line's rubbing, let you know if you're gonna be able to land that fish or not, and unfortunately, he sucked that whole thing in really fast. He got it up close to the boat. I saw him, I saw him turn up and just suck it in. My bait was completely gone. And I felt like I would probably get broke off because he didn't have it in the corner of his mouth or something. And he did, he busted. That's part of fishing. Otherwise we'd call it catching. So I'm gonna scoot on around the bank Thanks for hanging out with me again. As usual, I appreciate you guys. And let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna brim pan fish for a little while, and then I'm gonna bust out the drop shot for the last hour or two. I got about four, three or four hours to spend out this morning. So we're gonna do a variety of things. You may see me catch some brim. You may see me get broke off. <laughs> you, you hopefully you'll see me catch a bass before it's over. Let's go get us one. All right, guys, I changed baits. I'm still throwing ultralight, but that is the tiniest little spinner bait you'll probably ever see. I'm talking about a eighth of an ounce, probably. And it stuck him. 
bass a lot of fun on this light tackle let me bend my bait back I'll show you what it is and I don't know where I got this I've been dragging out tackle from some of my years gone by and that is a tiny tiny little spinner bait brim will kill this thing and uh, I already caught one showed it on the back camera what a lot of fun gotta check my line though he did put me over a log I don't feel anything so he didn't put any pressure on it Go get another one. All right, guys, my ultralight spinner bait comes through again. Pretty fish. Look at the colors on that thing. That's a dandy right there. Although it's got my line twisted up. Look there, boys. Mr. Mark Davis put me on that fish. Alabama hammer. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome, brother.